Well, the conflict between Israel and Palestinians is also playing out in the world of culture. Theater projects open paths of expression for Palestinian kids. DW's Rebecca Ritters went to Janine in the occupied West Bank to visit one such project, an institution offering young people in the city and in a neighboring refugee camp a way to think about the past and act on the future. In here, it's 1920. These young Palestinian actors are rehearsing a play telling the story of this region. 1920 after World War I. The production recounts historical displacement and occupation, told by the youth who were living the consequences. It's the latest in Janine's Freedom Theatre program. Since its founding by an Israeli activist in the late 1980s, this youth theatre has aimed to be a refuge for young Palestinians here in the northern West Bank. When we come here, we are able to express our emotions, what we feel. We have great energy that's burned inside of us after everything we've witnessed, from bombings, shootings and raids. So we come here to evacuate this energy and we feel safe here, so we can express what's on our chest and say whatever we want. But not only that, organisers see themselves as freedom fighters, very much part of a resistance movement. Yalla, 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 yalla. The space was created to foster cultural rather than armed opposition to Israel's occupation and has itself been the target of violence. Honestly, I don't know what the reasons are, but in my opinion, art and culture have a strong message, a strong resistance and defence. For this reason, the Freedom Theatre is and has been targeted for years. In 2002, during the second Palestinian uprising, the Israeli military destroyed it. Now the war in Gaza and tensions in the West Bank are threatening it again. After the events that took place on the 7th of October, everything changed indeed, in the whole region, not only in Gaza, but also in the West Bank, in all Palestinian territories. In December, during an incursion on Janine, Israeli forces raided the theatre, painted graffiti on the walls and arrested two of its staff. One is still in detention without charge. Project leaders try but cannot take their mind off what's happening in their city. We miss ordinary life. We miss not worrying about what could happen in two hours. We constantly hear the sound of drones in the sky. Yet despite the fear and the pressure, organisers continue with their part in what they call resistance. I hope that one day that we, in the West Bank, Palestinians living in Israel and those living in Gaza, we find the freedom and independence we aspire to. Because it's impossible to keep living this way. Everyone deserves freedom and peace and has the right to live as they want, has the right to decide their own destiny. Using culture to look back at the past with a clear mission to try to affect the future.